Well, the crazy part, Andrew, like in that in that first quarter, I thought we got some really good shots that we didn't make, you know. And so um our defense kept us in it, you know, only giving up 24 points in that first quarter, you know, and only probably shot, I think, 24% or whatever in that first quarter. So um, you know, our defense kept us in it. And only being down eight in that first quarter, you know, I saw some good things and we just we just couldn't couldn't make shots early. And then um second quarter got it going a little bit, but they kind of increased the lead at halftime. But I felt good when we were at a halftime. Um, we just had to make some minor adjustments and kind of play some old school basketball, just, you know, seeking out the mismatch. And if they're going to switch one through five, just, you know, establishing Zoo early, you know, in that third quarter and Marcus as well. And so, um, like I said, Marcus was able to, to really feast off what they were doing. And Reggie, you know, orchestrated the game beautifully tonight, you know, just controlling the game, controlling the pace, understanding what we were trying to do and what, how we were trying to attack this team. He, Reggie talked Friday about how he had to get the team better shots. Uh, that seemed to weigh on him. Um, even with that, I don't know how many conversations you really feel like you have to have with him to play so many games, but even the, yesterday, the, the day between the games, did you ever talk to him about just sort of about I didn't. I didn't. And like I said, he's very smart and he understands the game. And, you know, I just kind of gauge on like, if we're getting good shots, if we're playing the right way, you know, defensively, are we doing the right things? And um, I know it's going to be a tough game. Like I said, Casey and uh, the job Rex has done over here with these young guys defensively. Um, you know, they play hard and they compete. They got some good young talent. So, you know, we only had six turnovers, you know, so like we're taking care of the basketball. We got good shots. You know, I had 25 assists on 40 makes, you know, so I'm just kind of looking at how we play, you know, and you're not going to win every game, but we, we were playing some good basketball. We just couldn't capitalize early on. And then down the stretch, you know, like I said, Reggie was great um, the way, with the way he did it, but we, you know, nine assists, you know, one turnover. So, you know, it was, it was a good game for us. It was a good win for us. We knew it was going to be tough, especially coming in here at three o'clock really two o'clock because of the time change, you know, so it was, it was a hard game and I'm glad we was able to get the win. That's stretch where he dove the loose ball. And yes. Nico gets the, the layup off the tip. Um, that kind of starts a, a snowball. Do you, that figure heavily? No, yeah, those, those are great momentum plays. You know, those are winning plays. You know, first to the ground, you know, calls a jump ball. Then Nico steals a jump ball, gets a dunk, you know, in transition to get an easy basket. So like those are, those are winning plays. And so, you know, down the stretch, you know, we've been, you know, making those plays all season. So we just got to continue to keep doing it. And, um, you know, like I said, and then Luke Kennard got hot in that second half, which which helped us out as well. So, you know, good, you know, great team win. And um, we just got to continue to keep it going. Sally, you, you go into all these games, you, you have the game plan for how you want it to go. How do you kind of distill what's happening, uh, whether it's the first half or even like through two and a half quarters and feel good or, or know exactly like, how you expect your team to respond in these moments? Just looking for, you know, who has it that night, just the combinations of how we're playing, um, how we're generating shots. And then, you know, depending on what the team is doing defensively, how we want to attack that team, you know. Um, and like I said, we, we had the blueprint coming into the game. The first half, you know, I thought Zeus struggled a little bit, fumbling the ball a little bit, didn't get to a spot. But in the second half, he really owned his space. They were switching. You know, he had some smaller guys on him. He was able to get to his jump hook. Marcus, the same thing. And then um, they came out, which they made a great adjustment. They started blitzing. And then Reggie was able to hit Isaiah, who made some great passes you know, to, to Luke, to T-Man, and made some great great plays as well. So, like, we've been, you know, with our coaching staff, we always try to prepare for everything, anything we, we see. And then we, we know how we want to execute it. And our guys did a good job in that second half of doing that. Is it, is it is it all just adjustments, or or when you go in the game, you'd be like, all right, this is our primary uh, plan, but we have B, C, and D ready to go if if that plan A doesn't. doesn't yeah, for go. sure. I mean, you, you definitely have to be able to adjust. Um, every game's not going to be the same. You know, every team's not going to be you know play defense the same way. So you definitely have to be able to adjust. And like I said, in the second half, we made some adjustments where we just. Play, I call it pretty much old school basketball. Just seek out the mismatch and try to attack it. And our guys did a good job of following the game plan. Uh, it seems like you're talking to Rex. It seems like you try to give guys the tools to think for them. 
themselves as opposed to looking to you at the time that you're also available to help them navigate through that. If that's something that you want them to do to be able to think on the fly and then to still have you as that strategic support at the same time. Yes, for sure. I mean, you want these guys to be who they are, you know, play free. And then, of course, if it's something that we're trying to run and they're not seeing it, they're not getting what we're trying to do and how we're trying to execute, then that's when you got to, you know, pull them to the side, let them know exactly what you want, exactly how you want to run it. And um, like I said, tonight was one of those games where, you know, um, we had to just sit down and exactly what we want to do, how we want to do it. And that second half, they came out and did it, you know, perfect. So it was good. Amir did not shot the ball that well, but tonight seemed like he was just getting the hoop a lot with his cutting or his slashes. Was that a point of emphasis for him to at least shot his ball and take it? Yeah, I mean, or take his open shot. I thought he passed one, passed one up in the corner um, right in front of our bench. I think Marcus got <laughs> Don't worry about it, Deno. It's all right. Uh, Marcus had, had got on him about that. If you open six, open nine, open ten, if that's your shot, you got to take it, you know. And so um, I just stay on, stay on him about being aggressive, taking the shots, driving to the basket. But, you know, I don't I don't go by missed shots. You know, if it's your shot, you know, you got to take those shots. And uh, like I said, he was open six from three tonight, but we still have a lot of confidence in his shot. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I, I was going to just piggyback off of that. Like, same principle with Luke, like, you said four games, you and Luke shoot the ball. You shot the ball, you wasn't making shots early, um, but that's kind of the same principle with Amir that you have with Luke. Yeah, for sure. Like, you know, you're a shooter, you can you can make those shots, you got to take them when you're open. And our team, they, they feel the same way. You know, just not me. Like, Marcus got on Amir for passing up the one in the corner, you know. So, you know, we, we believe in running our offense the right way. You know, open man gets the basketball. And um, if you're open, you got to take those shots. And so, um, that's that's what we need, especially like I said, being shorthanded when we generate good shots, you gotta take those. Started the day talking about getting guys to rest and ready for the second half. Is he gonna need to get tomorrow off to have back to back? I can't remember. All right, thank you. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs>